Good morning. So, um, I'm Anna and I would like to share with you ano pa yung ibang pamamaraan para pwede ka makareceive ng money transfer or payment from your customer uh, using different apps on your phone. So, una nating na-discuss is Paymaya, now is Gcash. It's another option for you just in case under maintenance or offline yung ibang options for you. And Gcash is as versatile as uh, Paymaya wherein you can also receive cash um, through many different uh, payment facilities um, and then you can from there magagamit mo yung money na marireceive mo um, here sa iyong um, Gcash uh, e-wallet uh, which they call available and ma-update yung iyong available balance and then you can use that money either you can withdraw or transfer to your bank account straight to your bank account so how do we cash in or add money to your um gcash is click that cash in button and maraming options here pwedeng over the counter pwedeng online banks pwedeng through remittance so pwede rin yung um through credit card but for now we will discuss yung over the counter um option for example, magpapadala or magbabayad si client mo through a payment facility. So, yun yung topic natin today. And you can use that, uh, you can receive money through money cash in, supermarket, pwede siya magbayad doon, whatever is in the list here, department store, pawn shop, and pwede rin yung marami pang ibang payment facilities like Globe, Bayad Center, Express, DigiPay, and of course, you have the 24-hour service, yung 7-Eleven. Okay, so with 7-Eleven, um, you just need to click that um, icon ng 7-Eleven and inside, merong guide kung saan yung nearest 7-Eleven branch in your area. But if your friend or your client is paying um in another from another place like you know um visayas luzon somewhere else luzon visayas mindanao um he can visit any nearest 7-eleven store and the first thing that your client has to do is to generate a barcode um using the kiosk that is already inside the 7-eleven shop what if that kiosk is offline, which is I experienced before? Dapat lagi kang merong backup plan. So, with, kapag ka-close yung kiosk, either offline or under maintenance, you, can, you have the option to use an app, which is called Click App. So, it's the same name. So, either Click Kiosk or Click App. So, the barcode can come from your own app or from your client's um app as long as you know eta type lang yung yung gcash account number or phone number na nakaregister sa gcash so step two is kapag ka may barcode na is inform the cashier that you would like to cash in in your gcash wallet and then ipapakita yung barcode na na-generate and the cashier to confirm collect the payment magbabayad na ng tamang amount si client and um, the client need to uh, get a copy of the receipt para meron ka yung um, evidence na confirmed yung payment tamang amount and to, sa tamang account number and wait for a text confirmation yun SMS na successful yung cash in before siya umalis doon sa 7-Eleven shop so how do we use the click app so, let's open na click app. So, dapat meron ka niya and naka-download na and you just um, fill in the necessary information. So, pagka-open mo ng click app, actually, eto yung makikita mo. And then, meron dyan button na add e-money. So, there are two options. You can use click app for Paymaya or Gcash. So, kung ano yung napag-usapan ninyo na kung saan siya magbabaya, then yun yung number ng account na inform mo kay client. For example, sabi mo, oh, down yung Paymaya ko, um, not receiving Paymaya payment now, but my Gcash is working. So, you can, you 
can accept payment from 50 to 4,999. So pag more than that, then you just make another uh, barcode for another amount. So what is your um, GCash number, yung mobile number na naka-register under GCash? So yun yung i-type in mo dito sa, for example, sa akin, 995 Five. So, I will give this to my client and, for example, I'm receiving 1,680 from my client. Then, yun din yung uh, itatype ko and then I'll click confirm. After that, merong, dapat online ka lagi. Ah. Ibig sabihin, nakakonek ka sa Wi-Fi or you have a data plan. Okay, let's try again. Nag-time out daw siya. So, let's wait. Ayan, meron siyang problem. So, let's try again. Ganyan minsan eh. Chika siya. So, uh, 995462-8925. So, 16. For example, any amount na dapat mong ma-receive. Oops, sorry. Kanamit ako yung zero. Okay. So, Confirm. Ayun. So now, ganun lang. Uh, you just need to be patient. Minsan, nangyayari talaga na you have to key in again. So, huwag mong sasabi, ah, wala, ako may problema. No. You just have to relax and then key in again. So, with this, you double check kung tama yung mga information. So, for example, your client is sending you 1,810 for like an air ticket or whatever you are selling to your client and magbabayad siya and yung transaction is add e-money through GCash and the mobile number double check mo for me ang GCash number ko is 0995 so walang service fee because it's within that uh, limit and it's valid for ano ngayon date May 16 so valid siya until um, ang tawag nito? 406. Ibig sabihin, within 30 minutes, valid itong barcode na to. So, hindi pa, status pending meaning, hindi pa bayad. So, what you will do is, um, yan, i-screenshot mo siya and send this one to your client or your friend. Hanapin natin yung and for example, send ko kay Anne uh, this number. This barcode, ipapakita ni Anne, your friend. Ako tong Anne na to eh. <laughs> so, isi-send mo kay client and ipapakita niya yan sa cashier. So, cashier, eto na yung babayaran ko. And then, scan ni cashier. And then, um, babayaran ni client. And then, sabi nga sa instruction, ba i-generate yung... Um, Let's review. Generate yung resibo na nabayaran na and have that copy of the receipt. Dapat i-picture na ni client mo and I send niya sa'yo para ma-confirm meron kayong evidence parehas na bayad na and walang argument um, pagdating ng oras na hindi pa siya nagbayad ganoon so and so. So, meron ng text confirmation. Kapag successful na yun, you should receive um, the money, dapat magdagdag, dumagdag, dumagdag dito sa iyong balance, yung perang ibinayad ni client. So, meron kang text confirmation, nag-update na yung balance mo, and hindi natin siya makikita sa transaction history right away, kasi um, minsan delayed, hindi kagaya nung um, paymaya, parang real time siya, dito may konting delay. So, as long na na-receive mo na siya sa balance mo and you have that um, SMS or text confirmation, then payad na si client. Naka-receive ka na. And then from there, you can use this money, transfer straight to your bank account or kung maibabayad mo siya, like for us is travel agency, we have to um, transfer it to our fund para mabook na si client. This is very useful, lalo na pag may hinahabol kang uh, booking na 
like yung to go, ganun, ang bilis magbago ng price noon. So, this is very useful. Kapag ka may mga deadline ka, hindi ka na kailangan pumunta to withdraw the money right away from here, pwede ka na mag-bank transfer. Alright? I hope it helps and I hope may natutunan ka and please share my video if there's someone na gusto mong turuan how to do, uh, how to use, uh, sorry, how to use GCash para kayo, nagkakaintindihan kayo and you have a smooth money transaction. Alright? If you have any question, just comment down below. Please follow my page, Patricia and Patrick Travel and Tours and I am open um, every day to answer your inquiries about travels and about um, kung gusto magpa-advance booking for our reservations, uh, tours in different parts of the Philippines and also overseas. Um, we are open to answer your inquiries and please follow my page para lagi like kang updated sa mga latest promos and offers. Okay? Thank you! Bye!